Hey, my name's Christine, and I'm going to be talking about the documentary on the rise and fall of Jim Crow. I think I'm choosing to discuss this one mainly because I don't think I fully understood the difference between the Jim Crow laws and the fact that this was an entire period, an entire era of American history. Um, I think it's really easy to gloss over um, our surface level familiarity um, with the term Jim Crow or the term Jim Crow laws but without really understanding it. Um, I also think that this video did a really good job, at least for me, clarifying the chronology of the events after the Emancipation Proclamation um, and also just emphasizing the racial tension that continued to exist after that significant event in history. Um, and how it continues to persist even into today. I think informational videos like this that truly call attention to the struggle and the fight that African Americans have had to endure um, throughout this country's history in order to make progress um, is so important and cannot be afforded to be lost in translation or forgotten because I think that creates a culture of ignorance um, in which we fail to recognize that racial battles, racial tens tensions do still continue to exist. Um, I know as a white person, I will never be able to understand to the full extent what it's like to live as an African American and to um, personally deal with these issues. So learning about the Jim Crow era in more depth um, and its progression um, is crucial to gaining a little perspective. I think something that really stuck out to me in this video was hearing about Ida Wells um, and how her perspective change was based on her personal experience on the um, Jim Crow train car. The video mentioned that from her perspective there was some sort of previous underlying justification for the hate that was directed towards African Americans at the time, um, including the, lynch the lynching, but then experiencing the incidents on the train for herself was what kind of flipped the switch for her in um, knowing that there truly was no justification for that hate and that it was purely racism. And then from that point on, realizing that there literally was no other option other than to fight. Um, that gaining peace or compromise with whites was just simply unattainable. I think that part was particularly interesting um, because after that kind of happened, there seemed to be a disconnect that formed um, in the overall consensus or understanding of how to approach um, racism and how to approach these racial problems. And that was evident um, when Booker T. Washington was on the was on the scene and he made his Atlanta compromise speech in which he kind of did fight for compromise um, for peace um, over violence or any sort of fight and while I think at least the way that the video explained it his thought processes are understandable um, and were communicated pretty clearly um, but I do think it's interesting to see that not too long after that is when the era sort of came to an end and it came to an end in a sense of defeat with the separate but equal facilities being deemed constitutional. Um, so I think when looking at this time period um, as a whole it's kind of easy to see that after like the Emancipation Proclamation there was this um, progression of momentum that built to a certain point but then miscommunicated motivation may have been a pretty um, big factor into why it ended up losing that momentum. But I think that learning about this era and understanding that it didn't end on a considerably uh, victorious note is really crucial to understanding definitively that overcoming racial tension um, in this country has not been a linear progression, um, that there have, that it has been a struggle. But yeah, I think the video did a really good job overall of bringing its audience into the perspectives of the time period so that we would better understand um, both that time period specifically as well as um, in the context of American history as a whole.